What's going on guys? It's Angel and um, I am here to bring you a uh, much anticipated video. Uh, some of you have been waiting for it ever since, well, I actually posted it earlier today on Thursday but it was recorded last night on Wednesday. Uh, but here it is, my Royal Rumble predictions. So yeah, uh, this is uh one of my favorite papers i always get hyped even if it, even last year when i think it's pretty obvious that batista is gonna win i was really hyped for the royal rumble and uh this year is really unpredictable for me i mean i know a lot of people are saying roman reigns is the favorite but i mean i don't know man we got to see on this one but yeah it's the royal rumble 30 superstars 29 eliminations. One person is going to go to the main event at WrestleMania. Uh, there were talks uh, late last month about that they were thinking about bringing back the 40 man Royal Rumble. And so I was thinking maybe they were doing that to give more like surprise legend entrance. Um, but no, it's 30 men again. As always. Except for 2011, obviously. But. Um, should be a good one and so let's go over the card uh we started off we've got uh the ascension versus the new age outlaws which uh was sparked from this monday with the ascension interrupting the nwo and saying they can uh defeat them but then you know uh, apa got involved and so did the outlaws and eventually this match is scheduled uh, I'm gonna say just like last year, the uh, the outlaws go over. Uh man, I can't really see the ascension. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of really early for them. I was gonna say I can't really see them going anywhere on the main roster, but I mean, who knows? Uh, next we've got. Well, also there's that tag team match that's gonna be on the pre-show. I forgot to talk about that. And because there's only five matches on the main card, I'll give my pre-show prediction, even though it never counts. So I'll give my pre-show prediction. Um, so it's going to be the New Day versus Adam Rose, Cesaro, and Tyson Kidd. Uh, I'm going to say that the New Day wins that one. It won't count, but whatever. We'll put it out there anyway. So anyway, back to the main card. Uh, let's see, we've got... Which one did I already say? Oh yeah, the um, Ascension and Outlaws. So I picked Outlaws. Uh, then we've got a Divas tag team match. It will be Paige and Natalia going up against uh, Nikki and Brie Bella. Uh, I haven't really been following too much of the Divas stuff, to be honest. Ever since AJ left, uh, I've watched a few Divas matches, but not really too much. Uh, there are way too many divas on the cast of Total Divas, and uh, unfortunately, it seems like it's just going to continue to grow. Although Naomi was dropped from the show, so there might be a a possibility that she'll have a better chance of winning the Divas Championship at some point, which I'd like to see. Um, my next prediction is Layla. I predict that next next season or whatever that Layla joins the show Total Divas <laughs> but um let's see in that one uh I'm gonna say that um I, I, I'll go with Paige and Italia on that one I think I'll go with Paige and Italia and then we've got the Usos going up against the Stunt Doubles. Ah, oh, man. I can't believe they dropped the titles to the Usos on, I think it was the last Raw of 2014, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't know why. And, and then they're getting some of the Divas involved. They're getting um, Jimmy Uso's wife, Naomi, involved. Um, and then Alicia Fox has been on the side of, uh, the stunt doubles. Oh, man. I don't know. But, hey, that's something new right there is that they finally acknowledged on WWE that, um, 
that um, Na- uh, Naomi and Jimmy Uso are are married. You know, they've acknowledged almost every relationship on Total Divas now, except for Nikki Bella and John Cena. I don't know why, but whatever. I ain't worried. Uh, well, it seems like these tag team titles are being played hot potato with. I'm going to go with the stunt doubles. I'll say the stunt doubles to defeat the Usos. So, yeah. Who knows? That might be the upset. Of tonight's pay-per-view. Because at every pay-per-view, there's kind of like an upset. Like the team that that's either team or person, depending on what kind of match it is, that you didn't expect to win, will win it. Whatever. I'm going to go with the stunt doubles on that one. Uh, next, we've got uh, the triple threat match. It was originally supposed to be one-on-one between Lesnar and Cena, but now it's a triple threat. You've got the champ, Brock Lesnar, the challenger, John Cena. And the wild card, Seth Rollins. Oh man, this is going to be exciting. Because I would have never expected Seth to try to cash in on uh, Brock Lesnar. But uh, he's going to be in a match despite the fact that he is the um, the cha- I mean, the Money in the Bank winner. He's going to be in the match with them. Uh, I expect, I could, I'm going to expect a lot of near falls. I'm pretty sure they're going to do that. They're going to put in a lot of near falls. Uh, uh, I can only imagine the shit storm that's gonna go around the internet when if, if Cena wins. But to be honest, in that match itself, I think Brock Lesnar is gonna retain. I think Brock Lesnar will, will retain the championship, and whether Rollins does cash in or not, that doesn't affect my prediction of the triple threat. So, but here's what I predict: Brock Lesnar wins, and. Then Seth Rollins uh, maybe curb stomps him or hits him with a briefcase and does the same to Cena. And he's ready to cash in, but he realizes what happened last time he tried. So either he or J&J Security, they're going to handcuff Cena to like the rope or something. And then Rollins is ready to cash in. Then all of a sudden, Randy Orton's music hits and he runs out to the ring and starts attacking Seth Rollins. Because he hasn't appeared yet on ever since... Um, he got curb stomped. He did appear one on the last Raw of 2014 after um, they went off the air. He did appear because uh, Big Show went back to the ring, I think, and he was attacking John Cena, and then Randy Orton's music hit, and he came out and attacked Big Show. But, uh, yeah, he hasn't made an on-screen appearance yet. He's worked live events, but uh, he's. I think he'll make his uh, on-screen uh, return this Sunday at the Rumble. Rollins is going to think that because Cena's handcuffed or something like that, then, you know, uh, he's he's got the chance to finally cash in, but then Orton uh, ruins it again. Uh, so, yeah, that's what I predict. I predict uh, Lesnar will be, still be the champion after the triple threat. Once again, cash in doesn't affect that prediction. But that's just what I think is going to happen after the match. Then we've got the Royal Rumble match itself. Oh, man. So, there's so many possibilities to this. I remember at one point everybody's like, oh, Roman Reigns is going to win. But then, you know, there's this whole thing about Dolph Ziggler and how how hard he's been getting pushed. And especially Daniel Bryan with his comeback, you know. Uh, shit. Alright, so, some of the guys already announced are Kane, Big Show, Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt, Dean Ambrose, Dolph Ziggler, Ryback, uh, Eric Rowan did not qualify earlier tonight on SmackDown. I think Luke Harper is going to be in it. I think Rusev will be in it. Fandango. Oh, man, he I can't believe he's still relevant. <laughs> Apparently he reinvented himself and now has like a like a salsa dancing gimmick or something like that. And Rose is his manager. I don't know. I've given up on Fandango a long time ago. But um, <laughs> Fandango's gonna win it. He's gonna go to WrestleMania. I'm calling it now. <laughs> um, let's see. So these 
my uh, YouTube channel has been up for the past two Royal Rumbles, and each one I pick five. So my five this year will be, let's see, I'll go with Dolph Ziggler, Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, and Bray Wyatt. Those will be my five. And speaking of Bray Wyatt, I hear that he's supposed to, um, he's, there's a huge possibility that he's going to fight The Undertaker at WrestleMania this year. And that'll be The Undertaker's final match. Uh, we'll see. Who knows? Maybe The Undertaker will be an entrant in the Rumble. And he'll, uh, and he'll cause, um, and, and, you know, he'll cause, um, or, or, White will eliminate him, and or he'll eliminate White, and something starts between them and it leads to WrestleMania. It's just because, yeah, I don't think Bray's gonna win. He might come. It might. He might make it to almost to the very end, but I don't think he's gonna win it. It's because I've kind of run out of people to pick. Like the only three I could really think of that are really gonna win it are Reigns, Ziggler, and um, Bryan. But you know, if I have to have a wild card, I think I choose Dean Ambrose. You know. Uh, you know, if you can't count out the lunatic fringe, I mean, yeah, he hasn't won on pay-per-view yet, but he's over as fuck. Um, and then Ray Wyatt, I guess I'll throw him in there too in my predictions. But yeah, those are my predictions for Royal Rumble. We'll see what happens this Sunday. Who, besides me, is going to WrestleMania? Of course, you know, I have my WrestleMania tickets for this year in California. I'll go, I'm going to be going to WrestleMania. Uh, but we'll see who uh, who else is going to WrestleMania, who will be in the main event. Uh, and also, like I said, I, I'm really hoping Reigns is a win. I don't hate him. It's just that I don't think he's ready yet for that top spot. Uh, you know, go with the guys that are more over, like, like Ziggler or Bryan or even Dean Ambrose. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, uh, hit like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think is going to happen at the Royal Rumble, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, that's all I got for now. So, until next time, good night, and as always, do you...